y'all. It's your girl, Rez Johnson, and I'm coming to y'all with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about how I came up with the title, Still Inside of Hell, and why I decided to write it, and just the whole entire backstory of the series. And we're going to pause for a second. If you guys hear any noise, my window is open because it's hot, um, and my niece and nephews are outside playing on the back porch, so they're loud as hell. So, yeah, I'm going to try to speak as loud, or I'm loud in general, but I'm going to try to speak as clear as possible. Um, excuse my hair, I'm drying it, well, like, setting it, so I got my scarf on to, like, you know, hold it down and things like that, but I still look good. Anyway, um, okay, first and foremost, I'm using this book because, like I said in my last video, my books still have not come in yet, um, and I ordered some of my original covers. This is not my original cover, um, and this is not, um, the original Silver Potter Hole. This is the new version, and the cover is no longer like this. Um, it is available on Amazon, but I do not promote the new version for several reasons, and I'll talk about that a little bit later in this video, but I just had this one on hand, so I decided to just go ahead and use this, but this is from an old company I was with. Okay, so boom. <clears throat> How I came up with the title, So Apply to Hell. I, okay, five years ago, um, I was just laying, because yeah, I, I dropped it 2014. Yep, I dropped So Apply to Hell Part 1, um, everything, um, everything that glitters ain't gold in 2014, so that was five years ago. Um, I was just laying in bed, and it literally just hit me. And I jumped up off the bed, ran out of my room, and I was like, Mom, I said, what do you think about, um, so far to hell? And she's like, girl, where do you get that from? And I was just like, I just thought of it. I just thought of it. Literally, I was just laying down, and I thought of it. So she was like, that's hot. She was like, that shit is hot. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I ain't never heard of no author with a title like that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm going with that. So, um, I just started, you know, right off the top of the head, the entire part one is freestyle. Um, and part two was freestyle as well. Um, that's how I did all my books, pretty much. But, um, yeah, so I just started typing and everything like that. And then, um, I got signed. Yeah, I got signed in 2014. So, um, the whole concept of the cover was supposed to, part one was supposed to be the girl sitting on a platter. And that was my concept, by the way. I wanted the girl sitting on a platter. But each part was supposed to be different. Um... But when the uh, publisher heard about the title, he was just like, that shit's hot. He's like, and I feel like we need to just keep the um, concept of her sitting on the platter on all of the books. He was like, that shit's hot. He's like, I love the title. I love the cover. He was like, you gonna blow up. Um, so I'm like all geeked and everything like that because I'm like, I've never heard of an author um, with that title. I've never seen, because like, I, even though I wasn't an author, I, I, you know, I knew about Quan. I knew about Nikki Turner. I knew about Wahida Clark. I know about Daniel Santiago and all them, um, but I just wasn't an author. But they inspired me, mainly why he the Clark and Daniel Santiago inspired me to want to be an author. So I'm like, damn, you know, I'm hype. I'm hype. So I got my title, I got my cover, got my contract, well, got my contract and everything. Um, but the book was not finished. The book was not finished um, because right after I got signed, our electricity uh, was turned off for 40 days. <clears throat> And I'm like, damn, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Um, so during that process, um, my publisher was just like, you know, if you really want this, you're right, right, right. You're right, right, right. You know, you won't take nothing else. You're just right, right, right. Um, and I was just like, fuck it. So I would sit out in the car in my mother's Jeep, and I'll charge my laptop, and I'll just sit out there and type, type, type. I finished Shoot Plot a Whole Part 1, Everything That Glitters Ain't Gold. Um... I type, to be continued, the day our electricity got turned back on, believe it or not. And I sent it in. I didn't reread it. I didn't, because I didn't know about, I didn't know about rereading it. I didn't know about, you know, editing and developing. I didn't know. I just knew I, I wanted to write. So that's what I did. Um, and I sent it in. So I'm like, I'm just excited. I'm excited. When I posted the cover, everybody was happy for me. Um, it was just, it was, it was just amazing. My mother was ecstatic. My sisters was ecstatic. No, my, my sister. Let me let me let me rephrase that. Um, my sister was excited because my other two they didn't get fucked. Um, my brother he was he just don't really show the emotion, so it wasn't really. It just it was what it was with that. My dad was the one. Nah, this is too good to be true. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I was just living in the moment. I was living in the moment. Um, my book was released. It's so I didn't know anything about the sales and everything like that. So, I was geeked when I heard that my book sold 124 copies in 24 hours. I'm like, damn, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm excited as hell. Like, I didn't know that that was a nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, at the time, for a new author, it felt good as hell to me. Um, but, you know, for bigger authors, they're like, oh, shit, that's not nothing. I did this. You know what I'm saying? So, but for me, it was amazing. Um, and I hit number five on the bestsellers list. I, I could not believe it. I got tons of great reviews. And then shit started going downhill once I started getting the bad reviews. Because they was like, it wasn't even, like, you know, constructive criticism. It was just like, oh, bitch, you don't need to write no more. It was some nasty stuff. It's always It was always nasty reviews when it came to me. It wasn't like, it was never constructive criticism. And it was just so negative. So it kind of like got to me because I'm like, okay, what's the issue? These are personal reviews. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's how I came up with the title. Um, that's how the whole concept came about because it is based off true story off, off a true story. It's based off of my life. I am desire and let's clarify her name is desire. Um, but you can call her uh, Desiree if you choose because the spelling is like Desire or Desiree. I've seen a lot of girls with the spelling like that and it was Desiree. So her name is definitely Desire. Um, but again, a lot of people call her Desiree. It's whatever you choose to call her, Desire or Desiree. Either or because the spelling like is, is like Desiree and it's like Desire. But um, uh, I am her. And Trina is actually my half-sister. We have the same father. And I went through hell and back with her. So I decided to just write about it. I've always... Everything I write about is based on a true story. It's, I, either I've, I've experienced it or someone else did. Or I've seen it happen. So everything's just... I always have a lesson or a message in any, any book I write. Regardless if it's ratchet, drama, whatever. It's a message in there. So that's how I came up with the title and the concept. Now, the... the, the um, uh, Okay, the fact of it being so many parts. Now, I'm actually on book five now. Book five has been finished. Um, and Power Couple, the, the Desire and Rail story, that's a spinoff. And I know y'all probably wondering, well, why did you write a spinoff in the middle of the, the series? I wanted to take a break from the series, but still talk about the couple. So I wrote um, Power Couple, um, you know, the uh, Desire and uh, Rail story. And with my publisher, he was like, no, nobody's going to know what that is. And I said, well, they will know what it is if we say I still put a whole edition or spinoff. He didn't like that. He thought that we should uh, have it part six, but I felt like it shouldn't have been that. So once I um, became um, independent, I went ahead and went with my, my own, you know, um, little plan. And then there will be a part six come out. So it's still put a whole, um, everything that glitters and gold, that's part one. Still part of hoe two blood ain't no thicker than water. That's part two. Still part of hoe shit just got real. That's part three. Still part of hoe um, four is who's um, who's the real HBIC and still part of hoe five is um, a signing story. Now a signing story that now all of all of my sisters um, are actually um, characters in the book. You just gotta figure out which one is which. Actually one of them there there isn't. I'm not. I'm lying. One of my sisters aren't in the book. They're not in the book whatsoever. Um, but every, like, my other two sisters, they are in there. And those were the ones who took me through hell and back. So I decided to just make them as a character. Um, and then you have Power Couple, which is the spinoff. But it's a still part of whole edition. So don't think that if you read that book and it's going to be talking about some old other shit. No, it's still still part of whole. It's just a spinoff. Because I'm like, let me take a break on the series. And then I'm going to come back with part six and then, you know, part seven. I don't know how many um, parts there is going to be, to be honest with you, because it was years of buildup from this situation. Um, but I know my old publisher, he wanted me to do 20 parts. I'm like, that's overkill. I, you know, even though I didn't know the industry like that, I'm like, I wouldn't even want to read 20 parts of a goddamn series. So that's that. Um, so let's talk about the new version. When I signed to the company after um, being signed to my first, the first company I was signed to, they felt like Silver Potter Ho was underdeveloped, which I agree. Um, but I felt like all I needed to do was tweak it a little bit, you know, add stronger character development and things like that. But they wanted me to change my whole story, and I just, I felt so bothered by that. But, um, it, it was, it's a long story with that company. It was either their way or no way. And again, I was going through a whole hell of a lot, so I just kind of like, you know, roll with the punches. So... This is um, part one, the new version. I don't promote it for a reason because um, 
I just don't feel like it should have been changed. Like, it's not a lot that changed in the book, but stuff changed. And a lot of readers didn't like that. But then there's a lot of readers who said, you know, I see her growth. So I appreciate that. But then I also understand the readers who was like, nah, I don't like, you know, the way certain stuff went and all that. Because shit got real in the new version of part one and two. I, I must admit, when I reread it, shit got hella probably real. Like, OMG. So, um, I do, I, I'm not even gonna lie, I do love the cover of the, the new version, I love the quality, but I love my original shit, you know what I'm saying, but sometimes change is good, just not in this instant. Are, is, is the new versions, uh, uploaded, yes, one or two is uploaded on Amazon under me, Rez Johnson, um, the covers are no longer like this, they are not in hair bag, I'm not pushing the new versions, I'm just sticking to my original series because that's what got me on the mat. That's what got me in the Bahamas and, you know, Jamaica and, and Mississippi and Florida and all that. That's what got me in the back. Rez Johnson is still part of hell. Everybody knows the known is still part of hell. I don't care how bad you think the series is or whatever. That series got me on the back. The original series. So, I'm rocking with that because that it took a lot out of me to write that series because it was based on a true story. So, I was reliving the things um, as I wrote them. And then on top of that... Um, I went, like, I was, my electricity was off when I wrote book one, so it meant something to me. It meant that, damn, I want this bad as hell. Um, so yeah, that's how I, that's how I came up with the title. That's why I wrote the story. Um, there's so much more in store for Silk Part of I promise you it is. I'm actually about to update my website. Um, and just how, um, when you go on my website, you see a prostitute's confessions and fat bitch. You're going to see an entire page of Silk Part of because I want people to know so much more about that book. So you're going to see um, Silver Pot of Home, you're going to see Apostles Confessions, and you're going to see Fat Bitch. Reason being is because um, those are the three main books that people really, 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 really love. And they, they want to know how I wrote them and why I wrote them and, and you know, what's, like, what's in store for them. So... I got y'all. I got y'all. But I definitely wanted to touch bases on um, how, I, how I came up with the title. Because a lot of people asked me for years, how did you come up with the title, So Part of Hope? What made you, you know, um, write the book and all that? And then even a lot of females was like, oh, she ratchet as fuck for um, even as a woman coming up with a title, So Part of Hope. My thing is, fuck you. That's how I was looking at it. I'm like, how dare y'all judge me for writing So Part of Hope? And I'm a female. Like you, there's so many authors out here, who, female authors who got you know hoe or bitch in their title. That don't mean that don't define them. So I just felt like it was like, oh, let's poke at her. So that was like the start of a lot of shit. Like me coming out with still part of hoe. That was the start of a lot of shit. A lot of the dislike people had started to have for me and things like that. But um, it didn't really. It didn't affect me until later. But um, I'm going to um, cut this video short. I don't even know how. Let me look up. Okay, this is 13 minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to just cut this short. Um, I want to let you guys know that you can find the entire Silk Part of Hope series on Amazon. Uh, type in Rez Johnson. Um, and all of them will come up. They're available in paperback every last... Well, part three still have not been uploaded. I have to contact my assistant because um part three is not uploaded like yet and i need to upload it but other than that all the other parts is uploaded <laughs> um but yeah go ahead and purchase it give it a try let me know comment you know like subscribe share whatever like that um i love all the feedback good or bad um and also the, like i said the new versions are up it's not these covers all the covers are my original covers except for the new versions i changed those covers too but they're available too. You can, you're more than welcome to read them. I just don't promote them. I promote my original series. Um, and like I just explained why. Um, there is more coming from the Silk Petal Host series. Um, stay tuned. If you enjoy it, let me know. If you don't, let me know as well. Like I said, I have not changed anything about the original series except for actually getting it edited. Um, it's still the same. It's still the same. This one, the new version is more development. It's better developed. So I'm just going to let you guys know that honestly, coming from the writer herself, original series is how it, it, it came out. Only thing that changed was me getting it edited, actually, because I never knew that my publisher at the time never edited my work. I'm thinking, okay, my work is getting edited and it's really not. Um, but I got it edited once it came, um, once I got my books back. 
I got it edited and I re-uploaded everything. Um, but uh, the new version is, is changes, it's better developed, um, it's edited, and I think that's about it. It's, yeah. So, but I appreciate y'all watching this. I see that I got a couple of new subscribers, and I definitely appreciate you guys um, for supporting me, you know, for me grabbing y'all attention. So, I'm about to go ahead and get some writing done. It's a gloomy day. I'm, and I'm going to get some writing done before I get sleepy because when it be raining, I'll be just chilling and relaxing and everything like that. But I hope you guys enjoy your day. I hope you enjoy your holiday tomorrow. Um, I may do another video tomorrow. Um, yeah, I may do another. Y'all, I'll be just zoning out because I'll be just thinking about stuff. So excuse that. But um, I may be um, doing another video tomorrow and I'll upload it probably tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night because I'm not doing anything tomorrow. So it'll be, for the next couple of videos, we'll be discussing how I came up with the title and why I wrote it. So stay tuned.